In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite cleaning supplies. These are things that I have tested out and I've used for a long time and I know that they work for us in our home and for our family. I'm sure that in your home, for your family, you have your favorite cleaning supplies as well, things that you couldn't live without. And so I'm gonna show you the things that, that I can't live without and that I rely on. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is my Swiffer. This is a basic Swiffer uh, mop. There's no frills to it at all. And it, you, for, the, for the Swiffer, you can buy either dry cloths, which I have here, and these look, these are exactly what I said. They are dry. I do not use these for the floor. What I use these for is I, if I put this on my Swiffer, then our ceilings are very, very high. So I'm trying to get like cobwebs up from around the top of the ceiling. Or I use these on furniture. We do not use, I do not use furniture polish at all. I haven't in many, many years. Years ago, when we smoked, when Kevin and I both smoked in the house, um, I had to use furniture polish because uh, with all the smoking in the house, a layer of nicotine would build up over everything and then dust particles are, they're attracted to that nicotine and they stick. And so to really do a good job to get all that off, I had to use furniture polish. So since we no longer smoke, we haven't in, in some years, and we, we've never smoked in this house. Um, we quit a long time ago. Um, but I don't have, we don't have that problem anymore. So one of these cloths is sufficient to wipe off, um, oh, I wipe off electronics with them. Um, I wipe off uh, wood furniture, any any of our furniture, I wipe off with one of these, and it it works fine. We don't, there's no buildup, anything like that, um, and everything always stays clean. So that is what I use these for. For my actual um, floors, uh, my main purpose for the Swiffer is I use these Swiffer wet wipes. I have tried other brands and did not like them. Uh, for one reason or another, uh, I like these. I, and I know I did a favorites video probably years ago where I talked about the differences between the, the different wet wipes, and these came out the best. These, these had the overall um, uh, best effect on the floor. They, they work very, very well, and they are worth the money. I use a lot of these because we have uh, wood floors in our home. So those are key for me. Then um, for the toilet, I love uh, the Clorox. This is the toilet wand. And when you buy it, it comes with a little, like a caddy. It looks like this. And you can store your toilet wand in there, like behind your toilet. I don't do that. I don't use the caddy at all. Uh, I, we, I have a, a closet where I keep my cleaning supplies, and I'll probably show that to you at some point. Um, but I just keep this in. By the time I put this away, it's dry anyway. So I uh, don't keep it in the caddy. This is what these look like, and I need to put these on my list to buy some more. They look like this, and your the cleaning uh, solution is in this dark part, and then you put it right on here. Attaches that easy. You clean in your toilet, and the water will turn this greeny color. They've changed the color. It used to be blue, but now they've changed it. And then when you're finished with it, you have your garbage can handy, and there's this little release button and you release it into the garbage can like that. It wasn't wet, so I have to get the right angle on it. But it's very easy. You throw this away, and so, you're, you know, years ago, um, I know we had the typical toilet brush that was all in one. It was all attached, and you had to keep it behind the toilet or wherever, and it was just, you were constantly keeping the germ-filled nastiness with you. Well, with this, 
you're sending the germs to the garbage because you're able to get rid of them. So I absolutely love these. You can buy them like in um, a single pack, but I buy the 20 pack just because uh, I know I'm gonna, I, I can buy them once and not have to worry about buying them again for a while. So I love that for the toilet. Um, I have these uh, great value uh, gloves that I use. I don't use them all the time, but uh, they're nice to have when you need them. Just, just any kind of uh, plastic glove. Uh, for the shower and bathtub and sinks, I love the Scrubbing Bubbles Mega Shower Foamer. And I usually buy this in a twin pack as well, uh, just so that I don't have to worry, you know, worry about buying it for a while. But the thing that I love about this, not only does it, it smells good and it cleans well, but it's so easy to use. You barely push this at all. And it has a nice uh, spray, it has a nice range. Whereas the, the pump, uh, I used to buy a kind in a pump. And especially when you're doing, when you're doing the sink, it's like it's no big deal if you have to use a pump a couple times. But when you're talking about doing an entire shower and bathtub and then an additional bathtub in another room, your finger is worn out. It's actually sore by the time you finish. And with this, you just gently push it and it just, it, it's wonderful how easy this is to use. So this might cost more than the pumps. I'm not sure, but to me, it's totally worth it. I love it. I would not give it up. This is the uh, Mrs. Meyers Clean Day. This is the pumpkin scent. I do use Windex, and I do have Windex in my cleaning closet right now. However, I bought this back in the fall. I bought several bottles of this, and I really like the scent of it, so um, I will use this until it is all gone, and um, I still have quite a bit left. I also, this is not a favorite, but I'm gonna show you anyway. This is the peppermint scent. The peppermint scent for some reason, I don't know why, was not, it, it, it left streaks on my mirrors. And um, I talked about it in a blog. Uh, but long story short, I don't want to just throw this away. So I am using this on my counters and I'm using this on my um, mirror, uh, my mirrors. But I'm just using this until I get rid of it and I'm not gonna use it anymore. This is actually though a favorite. I would buy this pumpkin scent over and over and over again. But when this is gone until, um, until fall comes around again, I will use Windex, I like it too. For my clothes, I use the Tide Pods and the reason I, I like the liquid detergent, I really do, uh, but we bought a new washing machine and for the way that you have to wash these clothes, it's just easier to use these Tide Pods. And they look, they look like this. They're little like sacks full of liquid and I usually use two at a time. And uh, you just throw these into your machine and they do the job and I like the April Fresh and it comes with a lid, a plastic lid, but I, I throw the lid away, I don't, I don't keep it because um, I keep this up on a shelf and we don't have young kids here, first of all. However, even when my grandkids do come over, this is on a shelf so high up that you wouldn't even know it didn't have a lid on it and they're not gonna be getting up on that shelf. So I do like these uh, Tide Pods. Right now, I'm currently using the uh, Downy Infusions dryer sheets. I, I'm not gonna call these a favorite. I know I called this video my favorite cleaning supplies. I really don't have a favorite dryer sheet, just to be honest. I bought these thinking, I'm gonna spend the extra money on the Downy Infusions and see if they make my clothes smell any better than, say, the great value. And to be honest, they do not. These do not make your clothes smell any better. I don't use um, the uh, Unstoppables, I think that's what they were called. I did a video of it a long time ago, and they work. They make your clothes, if you, if you use like the Downy Unstoppable, I, I hope that's what they're called. If you use those in with your wash, they, your clothes will smell fantastic. 
However, because it's not needed, it's not necessary, and it's like $11 or something, I don't wanna just spend the $11 because who cares? As long as the clothes are clean, I don't care if they have a strong scent or not. So for me, these dryer sheets did not do anything any better than the great value. So when these are all gone, it'll take a while because you got 105. Um, but when these are all gone, I'll just go back to using great value or something. It's just not worth the extra money to me. That's just a personal thing with me. Uh, I like the Febreze uh, with Tide. I've tried different scents. I haven't tried a lot of different scents. But I've tried, I know I tried like uh, one that was from Hawaii and it just, it's, I may as well have not have been using it. it I, to me, it didn't have hardly any scent at all. Uh, so I would rather buy what I know and what I like. This with Tide has a, a sh not too strong of a scent. It's not overpowering, but it's strong enough to where if you leave the house and you come back, you get a nice, clean, pleasant smell of this. And the places that I use this, after I've cleaned, um, after I've vacuumed all my floors, all my carpets, um, because I have big area rugs in, in rooms, I will, uh, I spray this on the couch because that's where Guido lays on the couch. So Guido's our pug. Uh, but I spray this on the couch I will spray this on each area rug as well, just to freshen it up. And if Guido is not in his bed, I will spray it in his bed. And that is just something I do not have to do. I do spend the money on this. I don't have to spend the money on it, but I, I spend the money on that because I like it. Um, these, I have two more things to show you. These uh, are Clorox disinfecting wipes. I use a lot of these. A lot. I love these things. I use them for everything. These are just basic wipes, no frills, but I love the smell of these. They have a wonderful, fresh, clean scent. When I'm cleaning like um, my toilets or when we, we keep uh, some of these under the uh, kitchen sink because we like to clean off the counters with these and they're just, they're very, very moist and they uh, leave the area smelling wonderful. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is more wipes. These are a different brand though. These are the Lysol Dual Action Wipes and they're called Dual Action because that's what they are. I'm gonna try to show you one. One side is rough. This is the rough side and I don't, I don't know if you can tell how rough that is. And then the other side is the smooth side. So the reason I like these is because there are certain things when I'm cleaning that I like a more abrasive side. So I like, um, uh, sometimes if the microwave has some um, nasty spillage in it, I'll clean it off. For the underside of the toilet seat, I like something more abrasive normally. Um, it just depends. I can look at a job and tell, okay, we need one of the dual wipes for this. I honestly like the scent of the Clorox wipes better. Um, I don't think Clorox makes a dull action. Um, if they do, please let me know. Uh, I don't recall seeing one, but I like the scent of the Clorox better, but I do like, um, I do like the dull action wipes. So uh, the reason that I have sh shared with you all of these cleaning supplies is because it, um, has been requested that I show my cleaning routine for some time and I have just never gotten around to it. So that is the next uh, cleaning video. You're gonna actually see some cleaning videos from me. Um, I actually, um, I'm gonna show you uh, how I clean the house every single week. So I hope you will watch those. I hope uh, you enjoy them and thanks for watching.